No, roast ourselves. <laughs> We're going nowhere in life, Mikey. Want to see me bang on the drum? Yes. Let me just whip out this dick first, real quick. Just uh, wrapped her up. Podcast. It's 9:30. Not too bad, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's late nights with these maniacs, so I'm glad it's not too late. Cause I'm a sleeper. I know he's gonna want to watch a movie and cuddle or something, so he got a lot of sleep. Documentary or something tonight. We'll watch Rapture. Hopefully they have Netflix here. We're gonna go get barbecue food. We're in the hipster part of town, so there's gotta be something open. Oh, it's Saturday. Right? Yeah. Yeah, something's gonna be open. We're gonna find dinner. It's probably gonna be freezing out. We're going casual, business casual. How'd you sleep? It's time we go to bed. Midnight. Woke up at nine. So nine hours ish. Felt like uh nothing though. Coffee and reggae? What is this? Are we in heaven? Oh, that's who? Cool. That's who? She tags me every post. She's Team Kaizen. This girl trains Kaizen, bro. I'll show you. Oh, that's the New York Times. Bro, she tags us in every video every day. Watch this. She better tag you in the newspaper. Yeah, hey, if you. Stop fronting, little homegirl. You better shout me out. She tags us in every video. She tags us in everything. Oh, she's in Hayward. That's hella funny. Hey, shout out to Luma. Look at how dusty. <laughs> Dude, all the Canadian snacks look so good. All the Canadian snacks are the same, dude. No, no, no. What's the four bar? Let's look like this little caramel thing with a little nougat in it. The question is, does a French Snickers, one, this feels very small. Maybe that's why America's fat, because all our bars and sodas and shit. Come on. For a hair bigger. Now it feels nice outside. There's a little claustrophobic in there. Two. I wonder if it tastes any different. What do you think? Don't get hit by this bicycle, bro. It's a good run over. Oh, look, doesn't that look small? It does look small. There's a misinterpretation with Omar. He said he was going to start his day around 10. I thought he meant start podcasting around 10. Whew, easy breezy. Um, so now it's probably like 11.30 or so. He's going to come over, podcast, maybe lift. Maybe get a real meal beyond French Snickers. And then... Uh, I just got deadlifts. Either today or tomorrow, heavy doubles has this deadlift competition coming up. I just, traveling it's hard to get your diet and training right for me, because my head's elsewhere, like I mentioned. I didn't sleep good because my brain was half awake, Connor told me. So as long as I get my two deadlift sessions in this week before I get home, uh, or at least one, my heavy one, I'll get back home and we'll be fine. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm not always motivated to train when I travel. I'm pretty like one track minded, so since we're here, I'd rather just podcast, get our shit done, vlog because we're here, but this is our sample of our daily vlogs. Even though I'm not as in control of what we get to do, the goal for the daily vlogs starting this summer, 2018 coming into a theater near you, is that we'll go on uh, some kind of adventure at least a couple times a week, whether it's some kind of hike, something I've never done. Northern California is so cool and so cultured, um, but I don't get to do those things because I'm focused on my job. I was even talking to Barquan about it, who wears so many different hats as a vlogger and a content creator. That's like the lowest of his hats. He's running all these businesses daily. He has all these meetings and shit. So talking to him, um, I think I'll be able to really try to focus and make a vlog my main job and then 
try to put the other businesses under uh, to create content for you guys. So right now, you know, my main hat is kind of Kaizen and coaching and then probably like podcast and then probably YouTube. Uh, and I'm just going to change that priority of the order. Even powerlifting might even be above YouTube right now because I have this competition coming. So we'll go more like vlog content, almost number one priority in brain energy of what I'm going to create for you guys and even financially what we're going to put towards it. Then probably Twitch because I want to stream there three to four times a week playing. So that'll be brain energy and daily time. And then probably Kaizen podcast. And I don't think that'll make Kaizen or podcast fall off by any means. Um, because Kaizen, uh, I have a dope team around me, which helps. And then also with the podcast, it's only every six to eight weeks uh, that we do it. And within that, I'll be able to even get creative and make both cool for the vlogs, like what cities we podcast in. For those that don't know what the Mama's Boys podcast, we only record live. Me and Omar want to be in the same city. And so we just choose a city every six to eight weeks uh, and we meet up and record. So I'll be able to manipulate what city and our scheduling so that I can create dope vlogs within it. So that's the goal. Don't mind me being out of breath. Back to my French Snickers. No, roast ourselves. <laughs> We're going nowhere in life, Mikey. Yeah. Were you wearing a headband I... earlier? Uh, No, why? I don't know. Why? I don't know if I've ever seen you without a headband. Oh, I wear it all the time. I, Mike knows when I wear, like when I uh, lift and all that stuff and like the persona. If you want to know the truth, I'll, I'll reveal a nugget right here, Connor. I think you already know. Where I, yeah, where I said, babe. Mike's like, don't reveal it. Tell them to go on the podcast. No, no I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, so I had long hair. I had, I was just doing my thing because I like the long hair. And then uh, a few individuals, I'll just name one. Mike Chang decided to grow out his hair. Yeah. And he started wearing it in a ponytail. I'm like, man, fuck this guy. Like, I got to separate myself from this individual just because people they'll see one trade and it's like oh you actually you look like that guy I'm like yeah we just have long hair bro so I decided to start wearing the bandana I wear a bandana because when you train like your hair just gets all fucking crazy then it became more recognizable there's such a thing known as peacocking where yeah. you try and wear something where it's like a known look why do you think Mike's dyeing his hair everybody has like a little thing that differentiates them and so I was gonna say you look older without a headband on oh thank you in a good way or bad way what do I look like I'm 18 whatever way you want to take it I don't know My penis, sir. Excuse me. All out. Power. Oh yeah. Oh come on, Larry. Got my work done. Happy enough. Podcast food podcast. Podcast food podcast. <laughs> it's a good hair day, dude. I'm like, I just need the back to grow out the same length. Show as it this. off. Bro, show it off, dude. Show it off. You show it off. Oh dude. man, you can't. You can't really see the mullet right now. It's a mohawk. It's a mohawk. Mohawk. And it's because yeah, I need to trim up the sides and I need the back to match the top. We'll get there, bro. Nothing good comes quick, right? Except for Omar. Oh, there you go, bro. Chorizo meatballs? Chorizo meatballs? How do I look? It's a good hair day, dude. Get as much footage today as you can. Look at Love this moment. Talk about good hair. It's the Barber Brigade of the North. No, we all, we all have the same barber. Good eyes, though. This next verse. This next verse, though. These bars. Poopy dee scoop, scoop dee dee whoop, whoop dee scoop dee poop.